Writing is the use of symbols to represent ideas. The use of symbols to record numerical quantities predates the invention of writing by about 12,000 years. Because in objects like the Ashango bone, you have symbols representing numerical quantities even in the absence of a written language. The region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers is known as Mesopotamia, from a Greek phrase meaning between the rivers. This region is now in modern Iraq. Sumerian civilization began about 5500 BC in this region. The main cities were Arak and what is now Shemdet Nasser, also in Iraq, not too far from Baghdad. In Mesopotamia, the impressed numerals appeared around 3500 BC. They were made by pressing a token into clay, forming an impression. To read these, the internal consistency of mathematics can be used to decide on the value of the different impressions, and so a study of these impressed numerals leads to the following interpretations. If you press the token into the clay lengthwise, you get an impression that looks like this, and that seems to represent 1. If you poke the pointy end in, you get an impression that looks more like a circle, and these represent 10. A larger impression for 60. If you then press the token in to the depression, you get a 600, and then the large impression by itself seems to represent 3,600. To represent larger amounts, the impressions were made multiple times. This is a form of additive notation. For example, we might try to read the numbers shown on this tablet. So on the top portion, there appears to be three of these circular impressions. Each one represents 10, so we can read these top three as 30. And there's also two of these lengthwise impressions, and each of these represents one, so we can read this as two. And so the quantity represented up here could be read as 30 and 2. On the lower left, we seem to have three of these lengthwise impressions, so this seems to mean three. And while a portion of the tablet seems to have crumbled, it looks like we might have the number 16 over here. Over the next few hundred years, the idea of representing numerical quantities by marks in clay evolved to the idea of representing other concepts by marks in clay. In other words, writing was invented. And by 2000 BC, the impressed numerals gave way to a new type of symbol for representing numbers, known as cuneiform wedge-shaped numerals. These are produced by dragging a stylus across a clay surface. The cuneiform numbers appear additive, so if we drag the stylus in one way, we represent 1. Meanwhile, if we jab the stylus into the clay surface, we get a different mark that represents 10. And a larger value is represented by setting down copies of the 1 or 10 symbols. So we can try to read the numbers shown. So there's this symbol, which represents 10, followed by three of these symbols, representing 3. So the number is 10 and 3, or 13. And we can try our hand at writing numbers, so let's try to write the number 24. So for 24, we would need two tens and four ones. Now, typically up to three symbols could be put in a row, where if we had additional symbols, we'd place them beneath. So 24 would be written two tens, and our four ones would be placed something like this. 
While the numeral symbols are additive, the Mesopotamians included a positional aspect as well, with each place differing by a factor of 60. So A could represent 1, or 60 times as much, 60, or even 60 times again, 3600, or they could also represent 1 60th. For example, if we take a look at the number like this, we see there are two of these one symbols, two of the ten symbols, and five of the one symbols. Now, just as with our own system of positional notation, we might go to the end and figure out the value. The two tens and five ones at the end should be read as being in the ones place, so they represent what they appear to be represent, 2 tens and 5, or 25. Meanwhile, the two ones preceding them should be read as being in the next higher place. So they each represent 60. And so we can read this as two 60s, that's 120, and 25 ones, that's 25, or 145. But really, you should just read this as the base 60 number, 225.